I thought I'd uh, just have a little chat to uh, discuss the strawberries and the difference what it makes having them indoors to outdoors. So as you can see, this is my main strawberry patch. There's uh, currently probably over 150 plants in there. Last year we had about 50 to 60 pounds of strawberries, but it was a bad year with all the rain and that. It, it, was, it was poor. Um, theoretically, off here, we, we, we should get around a hundred pounds or more, possibly hundred and fifty pounds of strawberries. Um, so anyway, you can see, if you look at these, that's the state they are. I mean, we've got growth appearing, but it's not great. Now compare that to, I've got, the, as you can see, I've got polytunnel open today. Uh, if we come in and we compare it to these, these plants here, now, I think you can see the difference straight away. Now, these were all taken out of the ground here, but they've been in the polytunnel, and I think you can see there, there is a vast difference. You know, that just shows you what a polytunnel makes, the difference it makes. Everything grows quicker. Uh, now, today I've been potting up some more strawberries. You can see them all down here. Um, I've picked out the ones out of these pots which were uh, beginning to fill the pots and uh, so I thought right I'll pot those up. I can't remember which strawberry we were talking about yesterday when I said about the leaf but anyway there we are. That's what they look like today. Um, absolutely terrific. That's it, that's all. Um, I'm just potting around today. Uh, it's very windy. Um, can't do much until I get my pallets. Uh, not pallets, uh, my raised beds. Uh, I, what I have done, I'll just show you over here. Friend Julia, who I gave, gave a guest appearance the other day, she gave me some strawberry plants. Uh, not strawberry, rhubarb. She's got this really thick rhubarb. Now, just look at that. <laughs> now, it's probably not going to be any good this year. We'll have to see. I've manured it in well. Over here. I don't know if you can see that. The sun's ever so bright. But it's it's over an inch and a quarter thick. That's 32 mil thick already. Um, so, we'll have to see. There's also there's a couple of leftover bits. What? Assume she must have left me. I found them outside my polytunnel, so I've stuck them in here, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but uh, that's looking good. Ground is really dry now. It is so dry. Uh, my rhubarb, what I've got over here, is really coming on nicely. I think you can see it shows up. It should show up nicely. What we've got: two, four, six, eight. 10 in there and I've just put another one in here, it's 11. Now these are my main strawberry, um, oh I keep saying strawberry, um, oh, you can see that, um, one of these was really in here when I took the plot on uh, in uh, July 2011, um, I'm not sure which one it is but anyway. Three lots here. I'm hoping this will bring a lot of rubber this year. I like to have my stick with sugar. Oh, and that's what I've got to do. I knew there was something I forgot. Must water this. Uh, I'm going to try it with a watering can. Um, but I will have to do a, some sort of irrigation system put in there with some part. Somebody suggested a, a pipe. Um, which I'll probably do with the holes in it, just um, stick it down there, stick it right the way down. Okay, I think that's it. Well,